Wix portfolio step-by-step -step tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a portfolio for free. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a Wix account. So I already have created my account, but it's very simple. All you have to do is you have to sign up via your email or you can even sign up with your Facebook or Google account. So you can just sign up. And once you sign up, this is going to be your basic dashboard. Now on your basic dashboard, you have your my site. So you can create multiple sites from one account as well. Now, what we're going to do to create our portfolio is we're just going to click on create new site over here. And this will open up in a new tab. Now, there are two basic ways that you could create your website or your portfolio website using Wix. Now, I'm going to continue with the Wix editor. Now, there is also a editor X that is available on Wix. And I wouldn't recommend that for beginners. Now, the editor X version is morely for people that are a bit more used to designing and creating websites. But we're going to continue with Wix. And after you continue with Wix, you have two options to either use the Wix ADI, which is the Wix artificial intelligence to create your store or your portfolio or you could go with a simple template editing portfolio method so we're just going to click on next over here after inputting that we want to create a portfolio we're going to skip widgets we want on our website now you can see you can choose from over here if you want the adi to create the website or if you want to create the website with the website editor now I would recommend that you continue with the website editor. The reason that I do is that in this way that you could actually browse all the templates that are available. You could take a look at the different templates. You could decide which one you like, which design you like, and which you don't like. And then you can pick out the one and customize it accordingly. The ADI method is great if you want to save time, that is it. So in the ADI method, all you have to do is uh, you answer a couple of questions. And once you answer those questions, the Wix platform or the Wix ADI or artificial intelligence will give you a basic little template according to the questions that you answered. And then you can edit that template. Now, we're just going to click on edit a template over here and we are going to create our website by a template. Now, you can see that Wix is giving me quite a few templates that, that are available so you can just search for what kind of templates you want to search for we're looking to create a portfolio now it also depends on what kind of portfolio you are looking to create if you're an artist if you're an illustrator if you are a architecture firm whatever kind of portfolio you have so i'm just going to browse these templates over here and i'm just going to just take a look at what is available now I really do like this kind of illustrator template so I'm just going to click on edit over here and this will open it up in a new tab so it is going to open up the Wix website editor and from here you're actually going to begin your customization journey for your actual template. So now our template has been loaded and we are going to begin editing the template to fit our portfolio. So you can see that on your left you have all of your editing panels and on the top left you have the pages that you have created for your store. Then you also have your desktop view and you can change it into a mobile view as well. And then on the right you have some simple tools like layers, toolbars, rulers, guidelines and snap to objects. Now what we're going to do is first off I like to go into the pages section and I just like to click on manage pages and I like to remove any of the excess pages that are present within the template that I have loaded. Usually I like to remove excess pages and then begin editing the pages that I want to keep or adding the pages that I need to add on to my portfolio. So what I'm going to do is first off I'm going to click on delete and in the pages section I want to delete a couple of these little pages that I have on this template and I'm just going to delete these and you can choose to keep them or rename them or edit them accordingly. But I have uh, a work section and this is the work section what it's looking like right now. And then I have the store section and the info section. So usually these are the basic things I like to keep in a portfolio. Sometimes I don't even like to keep the store section because uh, I'm not usually selling a product on my portfolio. So if you want to remove the store section, all you have to do is click on the item, click on the page. You're going to click on these three buttons over here and then you're just going to click on delete and now we're just going to click on delete and now the store has been removed from the pages and you see it just disappeared on my preview as well so this is how easy it really is to add and remove pages now how are we actually going to navigate through with editing our template now it's a pretty simple and easy way to create and work with templates on wix so for whatever section i have like this text box over here if i don't want it i can just click on it and i'm going to click on delete 
and now this disappears. So like this, you can add and remove different sections from the template. If I want to add anything, I'm just going to click on this plus icon over here. And then I have these different add to site boxes. So I can create a strip, I can create text, images, buttons, galleries. So I want to add some basic text on the front of my portfolio and I'm going to add heading one and I'm just going to click on this. And I'm going to edit the text to say, welcome to my portfolio, like this. So welcome to my portfolio. And I'm going to expand the text box, like so. I'm just going to expand it like this. And now I'm going to drag this over here. I'm going to resize the box as well. So I'm just going to click on over here. And I'm going to click on edit text. And I'm going to just reduce the font size a bit smaller, like so. I want it to be one line, so this is pretty good. And I'm just going to move this and I'm going to attach it to the header, which is like the top section of your website. But this appears on every page. So depending on if you want to attach it or not, or you can do that. But I'm going to attach it and I'm going to make sure it's centered. When I have this purple line appearing, that means that it is actually centered. So I'm just going to place over here. And just like that, I have placed my little text over here. Now, after that, I can just click on any of these gallery settings and remove these images if I want. And then I could add my own work. So I could say welcome to my portfolio or I could drag this down below like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the add section and maybe I want to add like an image. So I'm going to add like an image and I'm just going to go into the images section and I'm going to click on free Wix images. Obviously, you're going to upload your own images of your own work or your own self, but I'm just using a stock image from Wix to uh, show you guys how you're going to do and add your own images and edit them. So I'm just going to use media from Wix and I'm just going to search and I'm just going to use like a person's picture. I'm just going to search for girl over here. I am going to add this image. Maybe I'm going to add this one. So I'm going to click on add to page over here. And now this will be added on to my page. Now what you can do with images is that like once you have your image out, I'm going to resize it and I'm going to place it down below. So I'm just going to scroll over here. I'm going to place it right at the center as well. Like this, when I have the central purple line, it means it is aligned at the center. Now, once I have done that, I can click on this item over here, this brush, and you can start designing your image. So if you want your image to be in a rounded frame, you can do that. If you want a rounded edges, you could do that as well. You have different frames available. I'm going to keep it a simple square, but uh, you can add any frame you want to your image. Now, after that, you'll also have your filters uh, option over here where you can add different filters on images from Wix directly and you also have your settings for your image so this is just a basic image and I could also actually link to this image so maybe if someone clicks on this image they could be led to my info page so what I'm going to do is this image is going to add a link and I'm going to click on add link and this will open up a page and the page that this opens up will be the info page and I'm going to click on done over here here just like that so now this image is actually like a link to my info page now once you have edited your home page you can just click on the pages section on your top left once more and then you're just going to go into your work section and then within the work section you can start editing and adding more work now what i'm going to do is i'm going to publish my site and you're just going to click on publish over here and then you're going to add your domain name so i'm going to add jane's portfolio or 1001 and I'm just going to click on save and continue. And just like that, my template is now being loaded, my edited template. And now obviously you can customize it furthermore, but I'll leave it at that. And I'm going to click on publish now over here. And now my website is visible to people and people can contact me and find my portfolio online. So I'm just going to click on view site and show you guys what the portfolio is currently looking like. So this is what the portfolio is looking like. And if I click on the image over here, this opened up the info section. So this is how easy and simple it is to create your own portfolio using Wix. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. And and I will catch you guys in the next video.